Greetings, people of the Earth. Today we're here to unbox the Twice 10th mini album, Taste of Love. I realize I said Taste of Love really funny, but uh, we're just gonna keep going with that. This is actually the second time I'm trying to record this. These haven't even been opened yet. That's how bad the first recording went. I literally opened up the brown box, my cable stopped working, and I hit my back against the light. So I <laughs> I got about two minutes in, and uh, yeah, so we're doing this again. Okay, so this is Twice's newest comeback, and it is the summer vibey kind of album. You'll soon learn how I feel about summer albums, but before that, let's take a look at the posters that this thing comes with. So I actually have the posters um, on my bed because I showed them off earlier. But uh, I'll give you my opinions on them again. First poster we have is this one. It's a dark blue one. I really like this. Probably my favorite poster in this whole set. Next poster we have is this one. It is the generic photo. Let's look into the camera with a white background. I don't like this one. This is uh, whatever. This is the final poster. It is the um, vertical one. It's in pink. I really like this one too, but it's not as good as the dark blue one because everyone's got like pastel -y colors on. So they just kind of blend in with the background. With the posters out the way, let's take a look at the pre-order bonuses. So we are given three pre-order bonuses because I bought all three versions of the album. So taking a look at the photo cards, we'll do the blue one first. I really like this concept. It's like late at night, they've got nice lighting on them. Well, some of them. Um, their outfits look great and I just really dig the whole vibe. It's uh, nine members plus one group photo. The next pre-order bonus is this white one and I like this one too. It's um, sunny looking and everyone's just really well lit. Actually, I do really like the costumes or outfits in uh, this comeback. So this is a very nice pre-order bonus to have. Finally, we have the pink one and I believe this is the one. Yeah, this has a hall of foil like background that they're taking a photo in. So the card itself is in hall of foil. You'll see it in the B-roll, but like, I really love these a lot. Like, all three pre-order bonuses are a total hit for me, so I'm really happy to have these. I think this is my very first set, like, first full set of pre-order bonuses from Twice. Okay, let's see, who do I want to open first? Let's open this one first, because this one looks to be pretty good. So I don't really know which version this is, but this is the light one, and uh, it's got a blue background, so let's open this and see what we have. Right off the bat, I just want to say that the packaging on this is amazing. Probably one of the best like packaging we've had since Twice Coaster Lane 2. Is that the one? No. Lane 1? I don't really remember. But the one with like the plastic sleeve? See? This is what I'm talking about. Plastic protection. This is how you protect your albums and I really love this. So really good job JYP on the album itself. I think it's amazing. So if we take off this front sleeve, we actually have like trees and stuff on this plastic thing. And in here we have a box. It's not even a book. It's a box. This is like packaging to the extreme and I really really dig it so so far we're off to a really good start when you open it uh we're greeted with the book and I'm gonna turn this around because I believe all the goodies are at the back so let's let's do it that way I think the first thing that we're gonna see is the member cd and we have Cheong okay sweet so I really like her I don't know if she's my bias yet but I really like her so it's a nice looking disc, uh, really happy. I'm kind of annoyed that Twice does like this whole member disc thing and I know Itzy does it too. But like if you're like a disc collector and you have to collect every single disc, you're gonna have to buy a bunch of these albums to try and get all the discs. Okay, so over here we have the book. This is a... I don't know what this is. Oh, I think the tasting card is in here. So one, two, three. We have Mina as the holofoil card looking very nice. Ooh, this is good. For some reason, these holofoil cards look a lot wider than like regular photo cards, but I'm pretty glad to have this. And I think we have her tasting card as well. No, we don't. We have Jungyun's tasting card. Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you. The first time I heard tasting card, I had no idea what that meant. I genuinely thought it had like a smell or I had to lick it, but none of that. It's literally them and the drink that they're having, and <laughs> it's like what the drink looks like. Best time with alcohol free, what scent it is, one word describing alcohol free, and flavor. <laughs> this is so stupid because it doesn't even give you the ingredients. It just gives you a dinky little drawing 
of what the drink looks like, so I can't even make these for myself if I wanted to. But uh, that's my only gripe with this. It's kind of a me problem because I kind of wanted to look. These drinks look really good in the music video, okay? Up next, we have the coaster. I just got it ruined for me because I realized our names are at the back. We have Cheyam. This is a good set so far. I'm pretty happy. And in the book, I believe there's two photo cards and that's it. Oh no, we have a lot of photo cards. So for our photo cards, we have Taiyan, Zhongyan, Momo, Cheyam, and Cheyam. We've got two Cheyam cards. By the way, if I'm pronouncing Taiyan's name wrong, do let me know. I've genuinely spent two weeks trying to figure out how to say it, but I'm just going to go with what I have with full confidence because that's how you fool the audience into thinking you know what you're doing. And uh, finally, we just have this. This is just a book. We've got lyrics and photos, so nice book. Okay, next we have the pink album. I don't really know the names of these again, so hopefully you're okay with me just saying white, pink, blue. <laughs> okay, I love the way this looks because this is actually a full image on the album, unlike this one where it's just at the bottom. So I do like the way this looks in general. Um, also, I forgot to tell you, this is the back. It's got the track list. So alcohol free, first time, scandal, conversation, baby blue love, SOS, and cry for me, English version. I haven't gotten a chance to listen to the English version of cry for me yet, but I think it's going to be amazing. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> so this is like, I don't know what pattern this is, but I think it's like a light, reflecting thing to make this look shinier. We have Kiko as our CD. Uh, really excited. I think she has a really powerful voice and a great, great voice. Over here, one, two, three. We have Momo as our hollow foil card. And one, two, three. We have Sana as our tasting card. Look how good that looks, right? Are you really going to tell me you're going to like see this and tell me you don't want to make this yourself? Like they should have told they put the ingredients here. That's such a wasted opportunity. But I also know that like it's probably not a good idea for like K-pop to promote drinking. Uh, coaster, we have Jiho, looking really nice. And the cards we have are Nayeon, Sana, Sana, Chewie, and Momo. So this is great. I feel like whenever I'm doing a twice unboxing, I did actually record one uh, last year except I never edited it. Um, it feels like such a challenge because there's like so many members and I have to like jog my memory. It's not like I'm only following one group now, but it's getting a lot faster like every time I'm picking up a card. So hopefully uh, that doesn't bother you a lot. Um, the photos over here are different. Each photo book has a different concept. Um, personally, this is not my favorite concept, but I do love the sparkly look. So this is nice. Okay, finally, number three, this is the dark blue one. Ooh. I like this. This is pretty nice. So at the back, it says alcohol free, which I think is pretty cool. I think that's just part of. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's just part of the cover. It says alcohol free to kind of look like a neon glow. Really nice touch. Okay, who do we get as a CD? We have Jungyan. Okay, cool. And let's take a look at the hollow foil card. One, two, three. We have Chewie. And who do we get for tasting card? One, two, three. Jungyeon. Oh, so we have two of the same tasting card. Would have wanted another one, but that's fine. As for our coaster, we have Momo. I do love these coasters. I think they're plenty thick. Should you use these? No, you really shouldn't. And for the cards, we have Jungyeon, Cheyang, Jungyeon, Jihyo, and Momo. Nice. So I don't think we got everybody in photo cards yeah i don't think we do but um i'm glad that we do have a wide range they do give us more photo cards than um certain releases you know like the black pink cd I know. and finally we have the photo book this is nice i do love the uh dark aesthetic i think it works really well with these photos so really really nice photo books i do enjoy the photos and all of these so definitely a plus. Okay, so I know some of you watching are my close friends and know how I feel about this album as a whole. And you're just waiting for me to explode because personally, I don't like alcohol free. I think it's a really eh song. I know a lot of people like it. I can see it in the likes and dislikes. It's just that twice we're doing such mature themes with I Can't Stop Me and Cry For Me. So I was really excited for this comeback. You know, I was thinking, all right, this is going to be good. They're going to do some mature stuff. It's going to follow in that path and they're going to stray away from what Twice was, you know, all those years back, like cutesy, dancey vibes, which isn't bad. You know, Twice has some real good bangers. In fact, one of my favorite songs from them is What Is Love. 
And that's a really dancy, cutesy song. It's just that I really expected JYP to move twice in a different direction. Some people might not like that, and I respect that, you know? Like, you can have your own opinion. And um, of course, me filming, I cannot have my own opinion. So <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, I do think it was really a waste to do alcohol free. And I know in K-pop, when it comes to summertime, they do summer album. You know, like that just sells. But they do have like Dance the Night Away. So that's already like one summery album in their repertoire. They don't need to have another one. This would have been a perfect chance to use any of these B-sides, any of them to be a title because the rest of the album, while it incorporates a bit of the summer vibe, it isn't all out crazy like alcohol free. It um, still tries to maintain a more mature theme and I really dig these, you know, I really love the rest of the album. It's just alcohol free that bugs me a little. I won't lie, I have sort of been getting more accustomed to the song as I listen to it. Every time there's a new performance, a relay dance, or just anything, right? I, I will go watch it and I get more and more into it. But it's just, it's not something that I was happy with. And once again, it's a me problem. You know, like I, I let my own expectations bring the song down. Maybe if I wasn't expecting something that was like mature sounding, then maybe I would have enjoyed it a bit more. But it's just, a real shame that this was their comeback uh, this time so I'm really hoping the next one they go back to um, that theme and keep moving twice in another direction but that's just my opinion also one more thing this song is called alcohol free right they they literally have a whole section in this song where they're just listing alcoholic drinks Sh shouldn't it uh, be replaced with non-alcoholic drinks because it's alcohol free. I feel like Sana and Momo's part should have been like milk, apple juice, orange juice. I don't know, maybe it's just because I don't understand language. I feel like the latter is definitely more feasible as an answer, so uh, take it as you will. But overall, I gotta say, my opinion as a whole on these albums definitely improved. It's the packaging for me. I love that it comes with so much stuff it comes so well packed and these are albums that you're not going to be able to damage. I think all the previous albums that came in like books, like Signal, I don't like Signal by the way, um, but like those, those sort of bookie albums sort of get damaged for, uh, in time. And sure, plastic cases like this do get scratched. I'm not saying they don't, but I'm just saying, you know, you're definitely protecting the album a bit more and if you ever want to sell this in the future, it's definitely way easier to sell. Um, final verdict, if you like this comeback, which I know a lot of people do, go buy these. These are brilliant, brilliant albums. I think they're done so well. JYP put so much thought into crafting these albums, into making these like genuine collectibles, you know? These albums go for $20, $25 a piece. You want it to feel that way. So definitely get these if you like it. If you don't like the album, don't get these, um, unless you're really into nice packaging like I am. Buy these if you want to buy these. I think it's a definite recommend. Look at these. These are such good looking albums. But if you're just like me and you don't like alcohol free, definitely give this album a try. The rest of the songs are really good. Maybe I'll convince you to buy these because even though I don't like the title track, I'm very convinced that this is going to be something I'm going to tell people to buy. So final verdict, buy it. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.